I didn't fully understand what this was going to be, but um, one of my great friends, Guy, with whom I have a lot of trust uh, and is kind of the king of these kind of experiences, he's like the king of co-living, uh, pulled me in and he said, Kelsey, like, I think you should do this. And so I had sort of like a suspended sense of belief um, of needing to figure out what it was beforehand, but I just knew after seeing all the people that were going to be here, um, that no matter what happened, just sharing a house with these like amazingly uh, creative, ambitious, diverse, um, multi, multi-layered type of people. You know, I felt like no one here has one title or one role or does one thing. It's like and 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 and, um, and I just. Yeah, I just felt like I needed um, I needed to put myself in that environment and just see what happened. And how it played out was way better than I even imagined. Like, I just knew it was going to be amazing. I just knew there was very little chance that I would regret coming or that it wouldn't be transformative. Um, and in fact, it was even more transformative than I than I could have imagined. I feel like I went through like every week like a new version of myself in this it sounds kind of dramatic, but it really was the case. <laughs> I started worrying about, you know, how do I give an authentic TED style talk to how do I perform on aerial silks and walk on broken glass in front of 25 people? <laughs> so so the <laughs> the <laughs> The transformation was pretty real and I just learned so much. I learned so much about myself. I learned uh, so much about so many things I have interest in that, you know, if I wrote a list of, if I went to a dream conference, all the things I would touch on and be exposed to, uh, many of them were here. Uh, and I was able to get like um, a toe in of many different topics, of many different fields, of many different frameworks of thinking. Um, that I'm now like laying down tracks to, to plunge deeper into. So yeah, blew my mind maybe is the, the right way to say it. And I feel like I've, um, I've gone even deeper than I expected in relationships. Uh, I think I've made some friends that I'll have for my whole life. Um, maybe I've fallen in love with someone. We'll, uh, we'll see, you know? <laughs> um, and I just feel like my world and my network have completely expanded. Um, almost like someone just handed you 23 new friends um, and it sounds really cheesy and like how could someone curate 23 new friends for you but somehow I feel like you did it <laughs> and I feel so grateful and I just as dramatic as it sounds also it's definitely like a before and after kind of feeling like I feel like I stepped into this space as one version of myself with one set of um, priorities and intentions and I'm leaving with a more refined expanded version of that um, and I feel just really really happy uh, I feel like it's been like some sort of after a year and a half of COVID and isolation and uh, lockdown and curfew, um, being alone a lot of the time. I feel like this sort of like intense dose of being with people, uh, experiences, even just sitting around the table together with 20 people <laughs> was foreign in the beginning. I feel like it's been some combination of like rehab plus therapy plus like being with all your best friends. Uh, and I feel like I've just been showered in like love and support and, and inspiration and affection and, and energy. And I just feel like I'm thriving. I feel like I'm a thriving version of myself. Whereas before I was a kind of like lonely, inspiration hungry, uh, kind of like, yeah, COVID version of myself. Um, yeah. I'm just 